welcome back to the epic Super Mario Galaxy walkthrough. And I will be entering the fountain this time around. And this is the fountain. Oh, it's a fountain. Uh, yeah, there's no intro to this area, surprisingly. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to select this galaxy right here. And since, it, you know, because it's got the uh, least amount of stars, I can go to Space Jump Galaxy. Woohoo! Yeah, I'll be pretty much doing the galaxies in order. Per uh, since it's going to be 100% run, I might as well keep it as organized as possible. Despite the uh, non-linear star collecting sort of deal that this game has, this one is called Pole Star Path. Obviously, you know what a pole star is by now. It's those little blue stars that you grab onto with your pointer here. And grab onto them and they'll pull Mario towards it. Uh, you can go on the back side of here if you want. Yeah. Any, like I said before, anywhere that you see it, there's rounded edges. You could almost certainly walk around it, just like so. But anyway, I'm going to grab onto that and go onto the next crystally planet, whatever the heck this is. And grab some star bits. Yes, always collect the star bits that you see, as many as you can, like those right there. And this is probably going to make the camera go out of focus. Dang you, camera. Actually, I shouldn't blame the camera. The camera's been awesome to me. It's the best quality of, I've had since I started, actually. Um, so, yeah, now we're collecting little star pieces of a sling star. There's two on these top two and only one on the bottom. Oh, shoot. No, what, uh, I hit the wrong direction. Hey, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, shoot, No. This is more difficult than I expected, but whatever. And the sling star appears right in the middle of them, so it doesn't really matter which one of those top two that you end up on, uh, like at a speed run or something. What like star bits? Yeah! I am star bit greedy, baby. And, yeah, I'll just grab all those little critters as I go there. And see these right... Oops, not that right there. Come on, camera, turn around here. There we go. See these? These are giant pole stars. They act like uh, little planets, too, so you can both grab onto them and use them as a regular pole star. That's a pretty ni nice little uh, twist on the original pole star, I gotta say. And the next pole star path is right here. Uh, there's no real obstacles over here, so feel free to just click your way through it as quickly as possible. Uh, but there will be op some obstacles later on. Ooh, give me some star mats! <laughs> Okay, that, that, that's enough. Don't, don't get hyper. Oh, by the way, I'm sure you could walk around here. See, it's around the edge here. Whoops! Did not mean to do that. And that'll work. And then I'll just go up here. Just like so. Yes, like that. And I could have go gone around either way. Uh, just saying that. Um, the object of this area is to free... Whoops! Not kill all the toads, to free all the toads. Like here. Yeah, the captain is... Lost and in danger once again. Not a very good captain, is it? I do not know where your glasses are. I'm sorry, Mr. Toad Guy. I, I too know the fears of losing your glasses, but there's nothing you can do about it, but just look for them as hard as you can. And there's the captain, by the way, in case you can't see, and I just landed right on, right on his head. Talk to him. Yes! Oh, you are not a brave captain. You're always getting lost and you're always frightened. Trust me, I know. Yeah, and then you go to the sling star up here. I didn't even have to talk to him, by the way. And then you go to over here. This is basically where the name Space Jump Galaxy comes from. Is uh, these forming platforms here that they make paths for you. This is actually a pretty cool concept, in my opinion. Um, because they always appear so you have enough time to react to them. So it's not like they're unfair. You just have to play around and walk across the platforms to find your way around. And of course, don't fall down the hole into that black hole there. Because we all know that down is death. Do I have to say it again? Well, I just did. So be happy, I reminded you of it. And these critters right here will form into platforms. Those eight pieces of a p piece of pizza or whatever they are. Right there, and then there should be one more to go, which is off to the right here. This is probably the easiest one to get. And once you get all five silver stars, they turn into a regular star, and that is pretty much it. <laughs> really, that's it. You just grab the star and go. Now, you, well, you have to get back to it, of course, but if you got all those silver stars, you know the path already. Star get! Alright, a new galaxy has been discovered because I got 12 stars, but I'm doing them in order, so 
if you're excited for that galaxy, you're not going to be able to see it at the moment. So let's just go to the next star in Space Junk. Oh yeah, Camilla's airship attack. Uh, Camilla's, I don't know, this, this, this is a debatable one here. Um, Camilla is a Magic Koopa. It's debatable if Camilla is like, um, Kamek's boyfriend, or if he's his, I mean, or if she's his wife or something like that, I have no clue. But, uh, it's definitely a debatable subject in the Mario Galaxy world here. Oh no! Why did his brigade board the enemy fleet? Uh, see? You're a scaredy cat! Why don't you go to the camp, to the boats and rescue your crew? Because you're scared, that's why! <sighs> Anyway, there's a Goomba in the middle of these things here, if you want to kill, kill it if you want. Yeah, and then you'll, you can destroy all those crates to get a bunch of star bits. Uh, but you're looking for this switch here, actually. That'll make that thing fall. And over here, I believe, is, is star bits. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm looking... Whoops. <laughs> I'm looking for something, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, not that. I don't even know how I made that coin appear, actually. Not off that mass there. Uh, I'm looking for that that uh, star shroom that I was talking about the other day. Um, to get across this gap, you can either just jump across it like that, or follow that bunny's example, and uh, spin across the gap. Uh, you could also long jump across the gap, uh, spin to get those coins if you want, but I'd recommend that you just do that uh, to get to that star, because you don't really need coins as you do uh, star bits. Uh, see this thing? This little, like, water wheel switch thing, whatever you want to call it? Spin. You'll pull it out, or or if it's already out, you'll push it in. It depends on uh, which stage that you hit that you have one of those water switch things are, and they do they have a whoops they have a variety of effects. My bad there. Um, you want to take this shell now and throw it. Oh, not at the magic Koopa. Um, but if you want, you can kill the magic Koopa if you want to, of course, as you've seen there. But throw it at this one here. A sling star will appear outside that treasure chest. The other treasure chests just contain, I believe, star bits and coins. Perhaps I should have opened them up, because otherwise I might have to star bit grind later, but eh. Uh, yes, it, as you can see, I just instinctively grab the star bits I see along the way most of the time. So this shouldn't be much of a problem. And there's a toad. How's it going, pink toad? Oh no, the octopus are blocking our way. What can we do about them? Well, he said to use a shell, so grab a shell and throw it right across at them. Try not to hit those flaming balls that they shoot, whatever the heck they are. I think they're flaming coconuts or something. They seem to have the shape of coconuts, but uh, yeah, that's how you kill those critters. And uh, eventually you'll get one across there. Come on, shoot a bullet over here so it doesn't get in my way. There we go. And now I'll we'll shoot this one at you, and now I'm a happy little plumber again. Let's see what's in those treasure chests, just for the fun of it. And, and there's a red shell! This red shells home in on your opponents. Uh, oh, there's a star shroom. Well, that's kind of what I was looking for. This is, I'm, I'm evidently forgetting where the star shrooms are located, but they are very handy to get if you can find them. Boss battle time! Oh no! It's got a wand, it's got a star in it, it must have a lot of power. And uh, you'll see it'll shoot that red bouncing whatever it is, ball, and then it'll shoot a green one. When it hits the ground, it'll turn into a Koopa shell. Yes, only the green ones do. So, oh, oh shoot, I was going to say avoid all the other ones, but I kind of just stood there like an idiot. So I guess that works for uh, Cam Camella here. And, uh, when you, of course, when you get a green shell, be ready to throw it at her. Or you can, you know, you can just miss completely like I did and just fail all over the place. And, yeah, that's just, yeah. And that was a miss all over the place. It's hard to aim at Camilla here if you uh, are aiming at an angle or something. So that was actually a bad choice on my part there. Uh, now it should work. See, you want to get as straight as possible to her uh, before you take a shot. And then at the second phase, she'll come up to the ship itself. But that doesn't change the fact that she still does use the same attacks in the same order, just like that. Um, she does, as you see, have two more fireballs come out of that orange blast. But that's about it. So it's not really all that special. Um, and now you got some magic Koopas going around here. You can kill them if you want to. Ow! Or you just get hit by the magic blast. You know, that works for them. And, uh, yeah! Oh, shoot, I accidentally killed one. I didn't want to do that. Uh, well, I might as well kill this one then. <laughs> I 
hey, give me green cell. I would like green cell. Oh yeah, now those balls roll around and bounce a lot further than they did before. Those uh, fireballs. And that should be in the, the end of Camilla there. And that is our next star. Yay! Gimme, 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 star gets! Apparently we're going back to the observatory, which means that uh, it's very likely that uh, Rosalina here will tell us something about something, or someone's got a message for me. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, prankster comet. What do you mean by that? I don't know. I've never played. Oh, I, I did play this game before. What am I saying? Yeah, they do have a strange effect on Galaxy. There, there's many different kinds of prankster comets.